Don't you think it will be cool to have a checklist which you can use to measure how far are you in terms of getting your dream data analyst job? In this video, I'm going to share this checklist which covers both technical and non-technical skills. The more number of checks you have in this list will mean that you are more closer to your first data analyst job. We will also provide free learning resources for some of these skills. Let us begin. Talking about technical skills, the first one is Excel. If you look at any data analyst working in the industry they will be using lookups such as vlookup or xlookup function to merge and join different tables to get the holistic view of the data and then to summarize or aggregate the data they use something called pivot table here i'm giving an example of an electronic store selling apple product and maybe as an owner of that business you want to get an understanding on total sales or total quantities sold per product or per month you can use pivot table easily with few clicks to get the expected result. You can also combine date and product dimension to get a different perspective on your data. Just like how a skilled chef can borrow a secret ingredient from their friend chef, Excel has taken Power Query from Power BI and now you can use Power Query within Excel for doing data cleaning and data transformation. And you need to know about this secret ingredient as well. What is the use of all these fancy tools if you don't know the basics of math and statistics? And when I talk about math and statistics, people sometimes freak out thinking that they need to know some complex calculus math. Heck no, you need to know just the basics such as mean, median, mode, basics of profit and loss statement, correlation, variance, standard deviation, etc. And all of this is available in a free YouTube video where we have shown a practical use case of these concepts using Excel. The next one is Power BI. Some people want to learn Tableau, but the fact is that Power BI is rising in its popularity compared to all other BI tools. And once you learn one BI tool, learning the other one should be pretty straightforward. When you're building any data analytics project, you will first hook up Power BI with your data sources, which could be a database or a bunch of Excel files. And the first step you perform is data cleaning and transformation. The data in real life is messy. You need to clean it up or transform it before you can perform data analytics on top of it. And for this reason, you will use Power Query. Once the data is clean, you will do data modeling by establishing relationship between the tables, and then you will create calculated measures and columns in DAX or data analysis expression. Using those DAX measures, you will build a beautiful dashboard that can quickly convey the insights related to a given business problem. And once the dashboard is built locally, you will use PBI service to deploy the dashboard in the cloud so that your business user can access it from anywhere. This YouTube channel has many end-to-end -end business projects which uses Power BI. So please check them out if you want to learn these things for free. Next up is SQL. We call SQL the salt of data science because it is used in any data recipe. Whether you are a data engineer, data analyst or data scientist, you will have to use SQL. The journey of SQL starts with big six statements which are used to write any type of SQL query. Then comes joins which are used to write SQL queries on multiple tables. CTEs and Windows, on the other hand, are used to write complex and nested queries. The next important skill you need is stored procedure, which is more like a function in programming language, which allows you to reuse your SQL code. Now coming to Python, Python is not needed in majority of the data analyst jobs, but let's say if there is a specific job which is asking you for Python skills, then you need to learn just the basics of Python programming and then Pandas library. In that Pandas library, you want to learn the data frame basics. For both SQL and Pandas, we have free videos on our channel. Now, in case if you're interested in more structured way of learning and you also want to get a job assistance, we have a highly rated data analyst bootcamp on codebasics.io. Check the video description below. We have covered all the skills which are mentioned in the checklist today. Let's talk about some non-technical skills now. ChatGPT and AI tools have completely revolutionized the way we work. If you're not using ChatGPT and other AI tools to work faster, then you will be left behind because someone has said that AI will not replace your job, a person using AI will. Hence, you need to use ChatGPT, AI tools and Googling skills so that you can work faster and you can be more self-sufficient and you can take 
less help from your colleagues by using all these tools. Then comes continuous learning and problem solving mindset. See, these tools are evolving very faster. So learning the syntax or how to operate a tool is not important anymore. Today's era is all about the person who can learn, unlearn and relearn. And problem solving has become more important than working hard. So please try your best to make sure all these four items are checked in your individual checklist. Next one is business acumen. A data analyst is not all about technical skills. You need to have a good domain understanding. You need to understand the functions of the business such as sales, marketing, finance, etc. When you talk about finance specifically, there comes PL statement where you have to understand revenue, profit, cost of goods sold, etc., market share, all these awesome concepts. Now you'll ask me from where do I learn these concepts? Well, one of the ways is Code Basics Resume Project Challenges. We conduct these challenges every month for free. Anyone can participate and these challenges help you gain the business knowledge. Make sure you get yourself skilled in at least two domains out of finance, FMCG, retail, healthcare. There are a variety of domains you have to get good understanding on two domains. The other resource I recommend for gaining business domain knowledge is a YouTube channel called Think School. When you watch all these case studies along with the numbers, you will naturally understand the flow of business and the intricacies of it. If I have to pick one skill out of all the soft skills, which is the most important one, then that is communication. Your technical skills are of no use if you can't convey your data insights properly to your stakeholders. And when I say conveying, it could be a written form of communication or it could be verbal in-person communication. You also need to know how to manage people's ego and that comes under stakeholder management. While you're working on a project, you will be using variety of project management tools such as Jira, Notion, Morale. So some familiarity with these tools are also going to be useful. Now, if you ask me how to improve the communication skills, well, Core Basics Resume Project Challenge can be a nice platform to practice this if you look at these people who are winning these prizes and if you look at their LinkedIn post, uh, they are creating first of all the PowerPoint presentations. So they practice their data storytelling and their presentation skills. Then they record the video so their verbal communication gets improved. Uh, they get a nice exercise on how to present those insights to business stakeholders in a real corporate environment. When you apply for jobs, one thing that you will need for sure is a resume. There are four things you need to check in your checklist for getting a stellar resume. Number one is it has to be ATS checked. ATS stands for application tracking system, which most of the companies use. And this is the system to filter the initial set of resume. So your resume needs to be ATS compliant and make sure it has a higher score. You can use websites such as resume worded, where it allows you to freely customize your resume so that your ATS score can improve. Second point is don't use same resume to apply in all kind of job postings. Customize your resume per job posting. I have this LinkedIn post by Austin Belshak where he suggests how you can use ChatGPT to customize your resume for a given job posting. The third item is using star method to describe your projects. In one of our videos on resume help on our channel, we mentioned this star method. The link is in the description below. That video also has some awesome resume templates that you can use directly. And the fourth most important thing is make sure you have a portfolio link. People have this personal website or project portfolio link where you can go and look at their resumes, their projects. You can go to their GitHub or Novi Pro dashboard to check their work. You can use platforms such as GitHub IO for this. Uh, our Code Basics Bootcamp students get these project portfolios for free where you just fill out some form and it will create the awesome looking project portfolio page for you. Next comes LinkedIn. LinkedIn is this online place where you are selling your personal brand and building strong online credibility on LinkedIn is going to help you tremendously in your job search. For LinkedIn, you need to have a good DP or banner. Don't use cropped or long shot images. You should be looking directly in person's face and your image should be crystal clear and smiling. Other than that, you need at least 10 endo skills and three recommendation. The link to your portfolio on your LinkedIn page is also super important. If you're actively posting and engaging uh, in other people's posts, you will likely gain more followers. So if you have more number of followers, that shows that you have the skill of 
persuading people to follow you and that often leaves a good impression on interviewer's mind. The last but not the least is your portfolio. You need to have four plus business projects. On our channel, we have many end to end projects. Also Code Basics IO Resume Project Challenge allows you to build projects in different business domains such as FMCG, hospitality and so on. So please check them out, customize those projects and make a nice description of these projects and add it to your portfolio. It will be good to have one project per tool, maybe have one project in Python Pandas, the other project project in SQL and the third project in Power BI. Then create insights deck. Uh, whatever people are creating for resume project challenge, the presentation and the video recording, those things are going to help you in showcasing your projects. The checklist is available in video description below. If you have any question, please post in a comment box. I hope you like this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends who are looking for a job in data analytics. I wish you all the best. Bye bye. Bye.